Hey YouTubers, Tanya, Haley, Ella, Josh, myself. So it was supposed to be 21 days, but... You missed me. I missed her. Yeah. <laughs> that being said, I got a phone call on Sunday that said they have two horses and no stalls. So, last week, the reason why we've not been updating much is because that's exactly what we did. We built some stalls. Out of nothing. Here's a pile of wood we uh, have left. But, for now, at least Diesel and Snoopy has a place to stay. Yeah, show them. Let's show them. All right. says. <laughs> Go ahead and shut them doors, guys, and let them, let them see the stalls. Show them how the stalls work. Yeah. Your stalling axle up now. Well, I think I have to close your the ferocious beast. Hey, come on. <laughs> there it is. Top latch. Now we have a looks like a cage uh, for an Ella Saurus. There's an elephant in there. Is there an Ella in there? Hey YouTubers, I'm back in Missouri and uh, Tanya's still in Michigan. Uh, we were supposed to go 21 days and because of the horse situation, we'd been getting all this lumber and, and stuff all summer, uh, being resourceful and, and pulling it in, but uh, the way it all worked out, Tanya ended up getting uh, the one horse and then uh, got the pony and it just happened so quick and it was all meant to be and uh, so many friends and family uh, from you know past in life uh, experiences or whatever 4-H reach out to her and, and don't gave her a lot and you know sold to a very uh, reduced cost uh, all the stuff that she needs from my understanding maybe a few things she needs but uh, no it, it, it just all came together and when we started this project it was literally just a pile of wood and steel bars uh, they, all the bars were in a pile we had to cut them up uh, but uh, we built everything and uh, for any of uh, horse lovers out there uh, if you look at the stalls the uh, bars is actually two spec they are uh, three and a half on center um, so the hoofs can't come through I learned a lot about horses uh, building this thing because I wanted to build it right I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to take a chance on hurting, you know, something that Tanya loves so dear and the girls and, and you know, my boys eventually when they meet up. I know that Eli had a uh, moment with the uh, horse out in Oregon, which I still need to upload those videos. But, uh, so I, I would stay up, I, I, we would work all day, Tanya and I would. And then that, you know, at night I would stay up for a few hours and look up specs for the next day of, okay, how, how big does these stall need to be? How you know, how wide the bars, how, how high, you know, so it don't kick, you know, or you can still see over, but it, it's not jeopardized. So I, I went off uh, the Kentucky Derby standard uh, is what, you know, the thing, the measurements, I was going off on the bars and stuff, but uh, yeah, we uh, did it in a week. <laughs> uh, it was a family effort all the way through it from the beginning all the way through uh, Rod and Sharon and uh, heck, Andy and Mary and you know the kids my boys the girls Tanya myself uh, everyone's had a part in, in getting this horse pasture and and uh, this you know stalls and stuff like that ready and I think it's pretty cool it all came together and, and everyone's gonna benefit from it uh, it's gonna be you know family horses uh, I'm sure all the grandkids all ten of them is gonna uh, want to ride on them and that's that's the cool thing about it because like Tanya said that's her forever you know uh, stalls that's what her dream stalls was so 
Well, anyways, YouTubers, follow us, like us, subscribe, please. We seven travel. Um, sorry I had to break my promise on 21 days, but I hope you guys know that I am an animal lover and I don't want them horses to be outside. And it gave me a great excuse to see Tanya too. So, all right, love you. Thank you. See you around.